Welcome to our coffee talk. I am so happy to have today here Dr. Dean Mercer is going to chat a little bit with, with us about Kansas State University, the College of Education, and our MAP program. So welcome Dean Mercer. Are you going to tell us a little about yourself? Very, very good. Thank you. Um, I'd be happy to. And talking about Kansas State University is one of my favorite things to do. So from a couple perspectives. One, I, I once sat where each one of you are sitting in that I'm, um, I, I'm a graduate of Kansas State, um, actually a four-time alum. So um, when we talk about bleeding purple, I, I absolutely do that. But I'm very humbled to be back serving the College of Education as, as your dean. Um, it, it's, it's a wonderful place to be. Um, impacting lives drives us. Um, preparing educators to fill the, the need in Kansas schools, um, the nation schools, is very important to us and part of our land-grant mission. So um, glad, glad to be here and proud to be a Wildcat. Well, thank you. Um, I'm so happy to have your expertise and insight. Um, as you like said, you live and bleed purple. Um, I'm also a recruit from Utah where I got my bachelor's and master's, but I also got my Doctor here at K-State, love mm -hmm. our program, love our faculty. So would you like to tell us a little bit more about the College of Education and what we do here? Absolutely. So at the um, undergraduate level, we have, of course, programs in elementary education, secondary education, and educational studies. Um, elementary and secondary are, are two of the um, larger programs at Kansas State. Both um, uh, rank within the top 10 of the number of, of graduates. And then um, at the, the graduate level, a variety of programs. Um, many of those are focused on schools, of course, the Master of Arts in Teaching program, again, leading to an initial license, um, but also school counseling and um, building and district leadership, English as a second language, reading specialist endorsements. But then, like I said, we're, we're broader than that, too. Um, academic advising um, is, is a very large program. We have programs for community college leaders, um, adult learning. So graduate um, breadth is, is immense. Um, and our impact. Yeah, it's absolutely. the same. Yeah, I think too, I love that K-State is so innovative, particularly the College of Education. You know, coming up with the MAP program, I think really met a need that we didn't have identified or targeted before <laughs> within our state and even like nationwide now. We, we have the program throughout many different states and even international <laughs> students attending. So can you tell us a little bit more about the MAP program and what you see as the benefits? Absolutely, so the MAP program would have benefited me. So my initial bachelor's degree um, is in family and child development. And when I decided that I wanted to move from a preschool classroom to an elementary classroom, my option was to be back on the Kansas State University campus Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9.30 to take those courses that, that I needed to be recommended for licensure. I would have loved an MAT option, um, and that, that's definitely what I would have chosen. So part of the, the, the thought process behind the MAT was that innovative approach to be able to reach individuals that had a bachelor's degree, wanted to take that next educational step, but, but wanted the, the license to go along with that. So it, it, it is an innovative program, the only one like it in the, the state of Kansas, and um, definitely having a huge impact, as um, you well know from yes. <laughs> your, your large classes that have grown um, every year we, yes. we've had the program. Yeah, and I think it's wonderful to see so many people actively engaged. I know most traditional online programs Programs, there's that separation I feel from you know the actual campus the faculty the courses even so the way we've done it I really like that we have integrated you know that very hands-on approach um, even just with these videos we're trying to give you guys a glimpse <laughs> of what the college is like um, get you to know our faculty um, I also really think that our instructors are very innovative in how they go about trying to make those connections. I know in uh, the first course you'll take with me, we have lots of technology. You'll feel a little overwhelmed, but I think you'll, it'll very well prepare you for your future classrooms. <laughs> but that, I think, hands-on approach really sets our faculty apart. Absolutely, I would agree. So we've learned um, to do things via technology in new and innovative ways, mm -hmm. right? And we started that pathway early on with the, with the um, MAT program, um, 
But then the pandemic hit and we learned even, um, yeah. I think, um, more innovative ways and pushed that boundary. And so one thing that's very important to us in, in the college is, is that connection, right? It's what the C stands for in EDCATS, um, that connected community. And there are so many ways that we can, can do that via technology. So welcome to my office. Welcome to <laughs> Bluemont Hall. <laughs> yeah, we're going to actually try and put some shots of Bluemont Hall in our a video as well to kind of introduce students to what the building looks like. Although but, I do, but, yeah, that sense the of place, yeah, right? Exactly. The sense the of bell place, and yes. Our traditions here. Um, yes. I also really enjoy the fact that you know we've really structured and designed the program to meet different needs. We have elementary, we have secondary now. Um, with my class, everyone will take it. But that um, social foundations of K through twelve education. Why do you feel a class like that is so important for our students and especially to start? I know most people will start with that class. So, mm -hmm. so the first word that comes to my mind is relevancy. Right. So, if if you look at the the origin of public schools and um, educating a citizenry for democracy for productivity. Um, Th that, that relevancy to society is important. And I think we're at a, a, an intersection mm -hmm. now of how do schools um, continue to change and evolve to meet the needs of today's students. Mm -hmm. And so having that, that foundation is mm -hmm. so important as we think about the future. Exactly. Yeah, I think that they'll learn a lot about not only the different approaches to education throughout the United States, but also they'll be able to start identifying philosophies that they might want to implement in their future classrooms that want to impact on them. Mm -hmm. I know um, several of our faculty will be talking about the different philosophies from their perspectives, not only the classes they teach, but their educational backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll be very insightful to kind of get that practitioner lens mm -hmm. on our philosophies and practice. Mm -hmm. um, through the coffee talks, it's kind of an innovative thing. Mm -hmm. And I think I really enjoy the idea that um, you'll get to know not only the dean's office, which is beautiful, <laughs> by the way, but other offices here on campus as well. Um, any final things you'd like to share with the math students as they get started? And I, I, I would love to end with, um, I, I mentioned our land grant mission, and, and that's integral to who we are. And part of that land grant mission is access. And part of that land grant mission is serving the, the needs of, of our state and our, our country. And I think the MAT does, does that in, in very powerful ways. Mm -hmm. So we have a need for teachers. We, we, we know that. Um, the MAT is not only an innovative track in content and how that content is, is delivered and mm -hmm. integrated, um, but also in how it is delivered while still giving you this, this sense of place, um, this place we call home at Kansas State University. And so we, we are just proud of um, the choice you made to be an educator and the impact that you're going to have on schools, on communities, but most importantly, on your future students. Yeah, so thank you. I couldn't have said it better, Dean mm -hmm. Mercer. Thank you so much for your time for My being pleasure. here. I look forward to getting to know you all better as we continue on with the MAP program, and we'll see you soon.